The year was 1914, and that was the year that the Pioneer Club found, was founded in Williamson County. This is the oldest home demonstration club in the county, and it was in the city of Franklin. Mrs. E.F. McKay was the first president of the club. Now, coincidentally, in 1914, the same year, the Smith-Lever Act was passed, which established the Agricultural Extension Service to extend the land-grant university to all the counties. The agent in Williamson County in 1919 was Miss Hattie Wendell, and she reported there were eight home demonstration clubs in the county. Those were Pioneer, Progressive, Bethesda, Harpeth Valley, Bingham, Grassland, Suburban and College Grove. They had 194 women involved in these clubs. And when they reported their work at the end of the year, they had canned 9,560 quarts of fruit, 4,476 pints of vegetables, and 1,662 pints of preserves. Can you imagine? In 1923, the agent that was assigned to Williamson County was Virginia Carson Jefferson. She led the ladies in the county to make 7,500 cotton mattresses during the war. She organized the first county council of 4-H clubs. Since 1947, there have only been three extension agents that have worked with all of the clubs. From 1947 to 77 was Miss Lois Crowley. 1977 to 2011 was Joan Worley. And 2012 to 2022 was Patsy Watkins. In 1980, there were 36 clubs in the county. Today, we have five. So we are open to new members and they can always find out about it by calling the Williamson County Extension Service. Good morning, I'm Joan Cox, a member of the Green Valley Home Demonstration Club. My name is Marilyn Holder. I uh, live in Fairview, Tennessee. Our next guest is Betty Hughes. I'm Carla Spriggs. I'm currently in the Green Valley Club. Hi, I'm Betty Sue Lovett. I'm a member of the RNOFCE. I'm Susan Harris. I'm a member of Nolensville Friendly Neighbors. Tell me about joining FCE, or was yes. it called Home Demonstration Club back then? It was called Home Demonstration Club. Well, I don't know. I one of my aunts just kept saying, "Come on, come back to the come to the club," and I thought, "I don't have time for that. I retired. I want to relax." But it's it's been fun. It's been fun. Yes. I had a neighbor that said, "Susan, I think you'd like this group." why don't you come with me? And I said, okay. And oh, she was right. I did like the group. But I started it because Dottie thought with my mother moving here in 1988, it would be a good opportunity for her to learn about the area and to make some new friends, which she did. And some of those friendships she held on to until her passing last year. And it really gave my mother an opportunity to shine with the things that she enjoyed to do. Excuse Good me. memories. Good memories. So what did you learn? We covered so many topics, which was supplied to us from uh, UT, uh, health and uh, food uh, and uh, safety, driving, uh, safety features, um, herb gardening, uh, the list just goes on and on. Joan Worley was our extension agent at that time and she set up uh, all, uh, several um, workshops and you could sign up and, and come, to come to Franklin, you know, to, for the workshop. So we did, um, uh, basket making, several, I have several at home <laughs> where I did that. Good and, baskets, I bet. Pardon? Nice baskets. Oh, of course. <laughs> I made them, of course they are. <laughs> the, the leaders were in charge of uh, presenting a program each month. 
And one of them was on home management, and that can include a lot of, lot of things. And we were fortunate enough that we had people that would come and that were, that really knew um, the ropes. We had attorneys that came to speak to us. We had investment people, bankers. We had nurses. We had the people from the health department. Um, <clears throat> we even had them come from the funeral home to, uh, to, to enlighten us on our, our plans. Um, it, the list could just go on and on and on. So it was really a way to learn. It was a way to learn. We had Udy Holzhauser who had the ceramic shop in Franklin and so several of the members took classes there and shared those with club members. And uh, we contribute to have over the years many charities. Since 1996, um, our main charity has been our friend's house. And one of our members, uh, her husband, Harold Catron, along with uh, Judge Jane Franks, thought there was a need for a home for boys to go to uh, that it, for some reason, could not stay in their own home. And that they have eight young men that live there until they turn 18 or graduate from uh, high school. I think we started out giving the library $400 a year. Well, it's now up to $800 a year. And, uh, you know, we, uh, the money is, is designated for things that the, uh, that, that the library can't buy with their, with their um, you know. County uh, funds. Funds, yeah. One of our main projects later in years was Bridges when they got started because one of our members, her daughter, headed up that program. So we were invited to uh, view and tour their new facility and see how wonderful and beautiful it was. And we always chose a family from the uh, program at Christmas time to share gifts with them, which was really good, as well as other activities throughout the year. And the service part of FCE, I think, is wonderful. And we tied it in, as well as a lot of the things that I did at work, like Meals on Wheels, we uh, sponsored them. And we worked with the Girl Scouts, which my youngest daughter was in. What about fun? Oh, well, it's always fun to just be with the ladies. They would have a luncheon and everybody bragged about the yellow flowers on the center of the table. Well, they happened to be turnip green blooms. <laughs> but she had her most uh, elegant dishes out on the table and everybody brought their best dishes. And on that particular day, my grandfather wouldn't go to nowhere he was going to be there for the club because he wanted to see what everybody brought for lunch and who had fixed the best plate and he called him the red hat champion the one that had the biggest plate and the best <laughs> dish of all so uh, did he get to eat i'm sure he did that's probably <laughs> the reason he stayed there <laughs> one of the funniest things that probably ever happened was when we took a trip to Chattanooga to look out mountains. And uh, Mr. Benjamin was our driver and we got to this bridge and he said, oh, he said, the weight is so-and-so. <laughs> he said, I'm afraid that we might not better cross this bridge. Why don't you all get off and walk across the bridge? <laughs> well, you can imagine about 45 to 48 women got out and walked across the bridge and then he drove across we had one lady, Miss Lavinia Redford, she said, <clears throat> well, I'm not walking. If it goes down, I'll go with it. <laughs> so I think that was probably one of the funniest <laughs> things that we ever did was we had to walk across that bridge because he wasn't sure that the, the bridge would, uh, would. And you didn't forget that, did no, you? No, I did not forget it. What about it kept you going back? I enjoyed the fellowship. I enjoyed watching people thrive. My mother, for example, took on a leadership role 
in reaching out to members and sending cards and different things and getting to share her crafts. And that was fun to watch her bloom. The main thing is all the friendships that have uh, developed and so many friends that have moved away, but uh, we still keep in touch with. And Nobody can take that from you. No. You yes. always have those memories and those friendships. We do. And we are all different ladies. I never would have met these ladies and got to enjoy them if I had not joined. We're from different churches. We live in different parts of the city, have different interests, but we all come together as a unit. And we love to, we all like to cook, we like to sew, we like to learn. Well, it would have to be the friendships. If you need anything, they're there for you too. Now, is your club still open to new members? Sure, always open to new members. You just come as you are. We'd love to have you. It'd be great. You meet a lot of different people. Come ready to learn. And there you have it. You have just heard about 229 cumulative years of FCE work in Williamson County from these seven members. As they remembered their roots on this video, we hope that it has also helped you to remember all of the knowledge, skills, service, leadership, and fun that you've had in the Williamson County FCE program. <music>